This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. I'm going to start with uh, uh, Rachel. Rachel, you're you're brand new. What's most appealing to you about uh, real estate right now? What do you th- what do you think is the most exciting part for you? Everything is moving so fast here, and everybody's so excited with, uh, you know, the new arena that's coming up, the new sports teams in Vegas. I think that there's just a real atmosphere here of growth and people looking forward to everything that's coming down the road, and that includes people moving in from California, from all over the nation, and those people are coming in and they want to put roots down here, and they want to have a home, and they want to make this somewhere that they can they can call, you know, their residents, and it's yep. exciting to help people out with that. John, you wanted to uh, talk today. I know you wanted to bring up a topic. You you know you do a lot of uh, property management work, and then you get calls from both tenants and landlords on short term rentals. The uh, some of those online portals looking for weekly stuff. I do. Um, there's uh, several people that are relocating from California that I'm working with to uh, find a home for them. Right. And they're looking for short term rentals until they can find the home and move in. And that's what you were talking about before. It's a challenge because there's uh, low inventory and so many people bidding on the same home. Right. I think I've always found, and I don't know if you find this to be the case, but the short-term rentals are not always the best properties because the sellers are maybe a little more desperate. If you're looking for like a monthly, month-to-month rent type of a thing, they're a little more desperate. That's why they're offering it for that. And then those homes aren't, aren't they're usually overpriced and not quite as nice. Well, you're right. They are overpriced and most of them are furnished. Yeah. And you'll pay uh, anywhere from 1600 to $2,000 for a one-bedroom furnished apartment. Do you get any calls for like the weekly stuff, for the vacation style stuff? I have lately. Um, okay. I have two clients that I've been working with, uh, past investors, and with all the excitement from the Raiders coming to town, sure. they're all thinking about uh, getting involved in the uh, Airbnbs. Right. This is why this is why people come to Vegas, right? I mean, this is why they're here. They're here to party. You know what? Party down the strip. Have a blast. You know, tear it up. That's fine. But don't do it next to my home where I'm trying to sleep and my kids are going to going to school the next morning and all that stuff. That's why the, that's why the challenge is there, guys. It's not, you know, it's not that everybody wants to restrict uh, people from making money. They just want to make sure that the neighborhoods are sound and safe. Uh, Cynthia, when you when you uh, have a buyer get a home inspection um, after the inspection report comes back, uh, typically not, and it's always different. But typically, what what type of a conversation is that with the buyer when you're going through that inspection report with them? Um, we're prior- prioritizing the list, mm-hmm. things from, you know, important to least important, uh, knowing that the seller's not going to fix everything. It's unrealistic to ask for that. Right. Smart. Do you ever do you ever say to a, a, a seller when you're listing a property, do you ever discuss the idea of perhaps them considering an inspection prior to listing? Do you ever talk about yes, that? Yes, actually, I have. I mean, you know, you're trying to get your house ready, most presentable. Um, and to have a pre-inspection done that you can provide a, a buyer right off the get-go um, is a wonderful tool. Also, it helps the seller know that there's some things that they need to address and maybe it's going to bring them more money at the end of the day if they have those items fixed ahead of time. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Thanks for listening. And remember to tune in every Tuesday at 9 a.m. right here on AM 720 KDWN.